The player is encouraged to keep developing his complementary skills. So we're going to see a pinch hitter here with the bases empty and one gone in the inning. Your attention, please. Pinch hitting for the Rockies. Number five, Dante Vaughn. Into uh, center up, field, up, line drive base hit. A nice hit. Out of boy. The center fielder, number 13, Magwell. And he lays off here. A nice job. It's ball four. First and second now with one away. Now batting, left fielder, David. Bit of a surprise here as he's going to try to lay here, one you're down. Here, you're here. Uh, he tries the bare hand but can't make the play, and now everybody's safe. Now batting, right fielder, Christian Yellen. Sent on the ground out to second. Gets dirty and gloves He's it. Out. He's out. Wow, that was a great. Your Carlos Estevez has been summoned now, from the bullpen. Always nice to get the first game of the series, but even more so when it's in front of the home crowd. Seems to energize everybody the rest of the series. A four to one finish in this evening's game. The Rockies hosted a three run first to propel them to the win. No error. They left eight men on day. Afternoon baseball here on the show. At the plate, Dante Vaughn. He'll lead things off here in the bottom we half of the first. For the, Rockies, the second baseman, Dante Vaughn. Now here it comes. At the ball. Well, guys, these Diamondbacks, as they begin play, they were losers last time out, but still in a decent groove as they'd won four or five prior to that. Yeah, guys, dropping yesterday was a heartbreaker without question. But you know what? Striding in once again, Dante Vaughn. 0 for 1 here in the early going. Now a fastball that couldn't quite find the zone. It's ball one. A ball and a strike to Colorado's leadoff batter. And a fastball swung on and hit to second. There is Ahmed. And that's the second out. Here's the third baseman now, Kyle Seeger. On its way, the 0 2 pitch. Just on the ground and right at the shifted infielders. He's got. Throw in time, and the side is retired. Now to the plate, the pitcher, Zach the pitcher, Davies. 17, Zach Davies. Squeak on here, and he gets it down. On to first, and the Diamondbacks are turned away as the inning. Now at the plate, Dante now Vaughn. 0 for 2 baseman. on the afternoon so Dante. far. Vaughn. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Swing and a miss oh, that time. It's 0-1. Hey, Great right pitch in that situation. If he makes contact on that one, more than likely he's hitting into a double play. Oh, and he's really getting the better oh, of him dude, now. It's strike two. Hey, I can understand this batter's hey, frustration on, right dog. here. He's trying to be aggressive and get something going for his team. They are getting shut out in the fifth inning, but that's exactly why they're getting shut out. You need to keyhole and stay on the attack and make this pitcher come in the middle of the plate. The next 0-2. Hit down the third baseline. 
But this will be a foul ball, and it's still 0-2. Wait for your pitch up there. Nothing in two count, and the pitch. And he chased it in the dirt. In time as he just gets the tag down. Now back to the top of the lineup, stepping in, Dante Vaughn. Fourth trip to the plate now, and he's hitless to this point. Yeah, he and his teammates have really been shut down by some very good pitching in this one. Been fun for a guy like me to watch. The 1-0 home. That's in, ball two. Everything this guy throws moves, and that two-seamer has a mind of its own. On the ground to the left side. Come on, get here, get Throw here, get gets here, him, here. Two down. Back to the top spot in the Arizona lineup now and stepping in, Drew Jackson. Two hits in four attempts to this point. Up the middle. Scooped up. One there. Relay to first in time. And just like that, this side is... A 2-0 finish today. Arizona came through late, taking the lead in the eighth to secure the victory. The final line score for our ball game this afternoon for the victorious Diamondback. Two runs, nine hits, no errors. They left 13 men on base. MLB The Show's coverage. So coming to the plate, Dante Vaughn. He'll lead things off here in the bottom half of the first. The second baseman, Dante. Here it comes. 1 0. So, guys, these Diamondbacks, as they begin play, 4 and 2 over their last six games, including a win last time out. Hey, thanks, Matty. Hey, you know what, D There's a swing, and he sends a ball high in the air into left field, into the bleachers, and gone. So it's a solo home run to lead off the bottom of the first. Eighth home run on the season for him. And the Rockies are out to a 1-0 lead. Baseball has really changed. Remember when leadoff guys were guys that would just draw walks and steal bases? But that's not the case anymore. Guys like this, they have pop on their bat and they can go deep. Trying to pick things up where we left off. Dante Vaughn. He went deep in his first at bat. And we'll see. See what he's got in store for us here. Throw over to the bag. Just keeping him close. Here comes the first pitch. Counts one and oh. Hey, 90 feet anyway, kid. Here we go. Hit in the air out to center field. Center fielder on the run. He gets there, and that's the second out. Up next for Arizona, Haven Smith. The first baseman. Haven Smith. Hey, we got two here. Ramp there as this is hit on the ground towards second. Right to him. Throw to first in plenty of time, and the side is retired. We're back now as the Rockies ready to bat in the third inning, and as they do, it's a good time to discuss their offense, which has been a real source of pride for this club. Entering the day, they're among the best teams in the league in avoiding the strikeout. I asked one coach about that earlier, and he said it's not something they harp on too much with the players, but they do have a lineup full of guys who want to compete on every pitch and who have great bat-to-ball skills. He added, not every team is so lucky to have that. 
All set for the start of the fourth. And that'll bring in the veteran catcher, Carson Kelly. Things not looking very good so far in this one, but we're still in the middle innings. They're down by a couple of runs, and this was the right place and the right time to get something going. The last thing to do is to try to come from behind and win this one in the eighth or ninth inning. Throw to first in time, one gone here in the fourth. So the batting order turns oh, over now and set to go Dante Vaughn. He flew Dante. out in his last at bat. Vaughn. Here's the first pitch to him. Starts him with a good oh, rising one. fastball there for strike one. Right Looked like he was going to wait him out, see if he was going to come over the heart of the plate. Well, newsflash, he is, and this hitter is going to adjust his batting gloves, oh, and he better be ready in the box. A ball and a strike to Colorado's leadoff batter. Hey, any way you can, any way you can. Here we go. He's set. Here comes the 1-1. One, one. And this one runs a little too far in. Ball two. Everything this guy throws moves. And that two-seamer right has a mind of its own. Grounded back up the middle. Ahmed fields it cleanly. He's to second up. for one. On to first as they get the double play to get him out of the inning. All ready to go in the top of the fifth. And that'll bring in the second baseman, Tim LoCastro. Sent on the ground out to second. Field cleanly. And the fifth inning will start with a ground out, one away. Now in the box, Cattell Marte. His prior history versus this arm. He's only two for ten. Double play ball to second. Four. To second for one. Throw on to first. No, Won't be safe. in time, so they just get the one there. In now for Colorado, Dante no Vaughn. Second baseman, Dante Vaughn. He's ready. Here's the first offering. And hey, I don't blame him for giving up on that curveball. That was a one. rainbow coming out of the sky. Stole a strike. Throw over to first and a dive, but he's back in there. The lead leads off first with a pair of outs in the inning. Here's a swing and a ground ball for Seeger down at third. Ah, beat it out, Throw beat on it to out. first, gets him, and the side is retired. Striding in, Carson yeah, Kelly comes into here. this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. Hit out towards one, one, second. One. He's got it. And the throw to first oh. is in time, so the leadoff man is gone here to start inning number seven. Now at the plate, Dante Vaughn. He got on top of one and was a ground out victim last time. Yeah, I understand that, Matty, but this guy's got burner wheels down the first baseline. I don't think he even concerns himself with that. He has to put it on the ground. That's part of what makes him successful. Nope. Now a fastball off the plate away. A ball and a strike. Six runs, ten hits, and one error in the ballgame for the Rockies so far. One and two as the changeup had him out in front there. Hey, this is a big pitch right here. Can't allow them to attack on any more runs. Let's Come see on. if he attacks his right own here. or buries something in the dirt. That's and he missed through. with it up and in to even things at two and two. Not Please where he keep. wanted that fastball to be, and it's three and two now. I don't think he can afford another base runner here, so whatever pitch he feels best. Belted yeah, ball, high yeah. in the air out to left. Peralta going back, and goodbye. This one ain't coming back. So a three-run blast to straightaway left, his second of the game, as it's now a six-run ball game. Second home run of the game right there. He is locked in at the plate. You hear so many of today's players talk about rhythm and timing. Well, he is perfectly on time. Yeah, and in this game, you always try to find a way to be hopeful. 
They win the first game of a new month and are now looking to keep it rolling the rest of the way. Nine to three, the, the final, final tally here the in this one. The Colorado Rockies.